I'm a rocket scientist at Advanced Rocket Research Center. My name is Chen Duoren. I'm happy to be here today to talk about some of my experiences in ARC and to share my knowledge in the future space technology development in Taiwan. Since junior high school, I knew that I'd become an engineer someday because I stayed up late. No, actually. Uh, actually, I stayed up late for working on DIY projects. And I tried to fix my broken house appliance, but most of the time, I ended up tearing them apart and learned how they work. Here's Tess, inevitably. I'm good at engineering. During my undergraduate years in university, I particip participated in robotic competition and joined the Eurobot International Robotic Contest. I also founded a uh, project called uh, National Tsinghua University e dorm Project, which I led the development of smart laundry system. Years past, uh, two years ago, I also became a Formula One race car engineer and I work in Renault F1 team based in UK. Of course, I participated in a lot of ARC rocket launches. Just like all young university students, as a master student, I was always wondering what do I do in what, what do I want to do in the future? Do I go back abroad and continue my continue to pursue my career in motorsports? Or do I join the semiconductor industry in Taiwan and earn a wealthy life? Today, standing here, after the launch two months ago, I said that I would like to dedicate myself to space technology development in Taiwan. Okay, let's start our topic today. Why should we develop space technology? And why should we design our own rockets? Space technologies are no longer fantasies. During the 60s, the Apollo program led to rapid growth of thousands of technology and aerospace companies in the United States. They shaped our modern lifestyle. For example, solar cells that we use every day for electric electricity are first developed as a prominent application as satellite power source. Signal sensor used in most modern digital cameras were first developed in NASA's Jet Proportional Lab. Space technology are now everywhere in our everyday lives. <laughs> Last year, in 2021, there are more than 1,700 satellites launched into orbit. Metrological satellites are used for improving weather forecast accuracy, which help reduce the property damage, and also save people's lives. Imagine satellites have cameras on board. They take aerial pictures for geographic information system analyzing. Communication satellites relay internet, television, and telephone signals. Starting and television, uh, satellite TV are good examples. Global navigation system, uh, navigation satellite system, or so-called GNSS, are for GPS signals that we use every day. Last but not least, space telescopes are used for observing the universe and discover the origin of life. To, to, make, to make this space technology possible, rockets are the key to enter space. Um, there are only, so, so far, there are only 11 countries that, that are able to send rockets into orbit. South Korea are the latest one. By building our own rockets, we can launch any time and any type of satellite that we want. This not only opens the opportunity for Taiwan to enter the rapid growing space economy, but also reduces our, our dependency to other countries. For example, if we send our own communication satellites into orbit, we can strengthen our outgoing um, communication and uh, to reduce the threat of damage undersea internet cables. So you might now ask, the United States have already landed a rocket on the moon like 53 years ago. What advantage do we have? 
actually a lot more than you can imagine. First, let's talk about the geographic advantage. Taiwan located in the west side of the Pacific Ocean. So there is a vast Pacific Ocean on our east side. We can launch our rockets without a concern of damaging land properties. And also, without intrud intruding other countries' territory. Moreover, locating in the low latitude also means that there are less power, less energy required to send rockets into orbit because the tangential velocity of Earth rotating eastward are a lot faster. How about industries? Uh, Taiwan has a lot of industries that are world famous. For example, we have a strong integrated circuit supply chain which can provide us the crucial communication and the control chips that we need to develop a rocket. Also, we have precision machinery factories that can manufacture uh, accurate rocket parts. We have also uh, composite material manufacturers that can build lightweight and strong materials. Those uh, industries I mentioned above are world famous and they are based in Taiwan. However, most of them are we call them OEM, which means that they are depending to um, orders from foreign countries. Last year, uh, the Space Development Law, Taikong uh, Fa was passed. This opens the opportunity for Taiwan to enter. This opens the opportunity for Taiwan to enter this uh, rapid growing economy. So. We can we found the abdu oh, sorry. Okay. So now we know that Taiwan has those advantage to um, develop the rocket rocket parts and we can build our own rocket. I can say that Taiwan has the opportunity has the ability to design, manufacture and launch our own rockets. So with all those industry I mentioned, they can integrate into another new supply chain, which means that we can start our first step to this um, economy and enter this economy. And uh, do you remember that I told you that I once worked in a Formula One team? Every Formula One team has 100 more, 100 times more budget and times times more manpower compared to what we have in ARC. Being a uh, lack of the uh, equipment, budget, and manpower, ARC, we cannot just jump into and develop a full-scale uh, full launch vehicle. Being an academic organization, we, 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 we focus on developing key technologies for launch vehicles. We choose to develop hybrid rocket engines because they are safe, cheap, and environmental friendly. After years of development, our hybrid rocket technology are the world's best. For example, the two engines I show, the lower one, the Samachal and hybrid rocket, reaches the efficiency of 240 second ISP, while the upper one, flying engine, has a burn time of 60 seconds and reach a total power thrust of 13 kN. Moreover, our Samaja engine is equipped with thrust throttling control and thrust vector control. This is a cru crucial technology for set, uh, for launch vehicle upper stage, which is required to send satellites into precise orbit. Integrated with our in-house developed navigation guidance and control technology, this is the this is the result. As you can see, this is the world's first heavy rocket covering flight test we completed two years ago. We demonstrated our ability to precisely and accurately control the attitude and the position of a rocket. Okay. Um, so during the so now I I like to put a quote here. So United uh, United States President John Kennedy in 1962, that is about seven years before uh, Apollo's 11 mission, he said in a speech about um, sending human uh, onto the moon. He said, "But why some say the moon? Why we choose this as our goal? 
We choose to go to the moon not because in this decade, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve and organize the measure the best of our energies and skills. Because the challenge is one that we are willing to accept, and one we are unwilling to postpone, and one when we intend to win. And indeed, space are hard, and things are never easy. It took SpaceX five attempts to land a rocket, uh, Falcon 9 rocket booster on a remote drone ship. And of course, we failed a lot too. However, the important thing is, from every failure, we learn something new. We discover new challenges and we grow stronger. Only with all these failures, we can succeed and we can and we can achieve something extraordinary. So success has never come easy. They come with all those kind of failures and all those kind of dangers, especially developing rocket technologies. Okay, I'm, I'm happy to say that I was in that house and I'm here today, yes. <laughs> okay, so since 2008, ARC has launched, uh, has more than 20 rocket launcher tanks. To, with, with all those help from the society, we tried our best to for, fulfill our social responsibility by helping, by inspiring children and teenagers. We also gave speeches around the nation, just like today's event. We also have camps to teach uh, elementary school students building safe and simple paper rockets. We hope that we can inspire more people and to be interested in space technologies and join us on our dream of sending Taiwan into space. Do you know how proud am I when I stand in here today earlier and introduce myself as a rocket scientist to you? I hope that our launch videos and all of our stories about us pursuing our own dream can inspire more people. Inspire them to dream big. And inspire them to dedicate themselves in anything that they are interested in. Future of Taiwan depending on each of us. Today I'd like to end my speech with a quote from John Lennon. A dream you dream is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. We, Advanced Rocket Research Center, we aim to, we aim to send Taiwan satellite into Earth's orbit with rockets made in Taiwan. Thank you.